Hello everybody, Creatively Personal with Martika here and today I'm going to show you how I make my double secured mirrored box. Now I'm going to speed this video up a little bit so that it doesn't take too long but go ahead and sit back, take notes and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing you're going to need is five mirrors from the Dollar Tree and then I'm using the Dollar Tree adhesive. Now I'm leaving the feet on my mirrors because I'm using them as a guide to put my glue down and then I'm going to take one of the mirrors and I'm going to slide it up against the glue that I just put onto the mirror and I'm going to stand that portion up as you can see here in the video itself. Now while I'm holding that you kind of have to play double duty. I'm going to put some more glue down on the other side and I'm just going to stand another mirror up next to that and you just have to use your hands uh, and just kind of hold them together at the same time while you work. You really need about three or four hands for this project but you got to work with what you have. So then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to go down the side seam to kind of help this uh, stand up by, it, by itself so that I can continue to work with this mirrored box. Now I'm just going to kind of hold this in place a little bit more because it does take a while for this adhesive to dry. Now what I am doing, I am taking my hot glue and I'm going right on top of the gel adhesive with the hot glue. Now why am I doing that? It's because the hot glue, it dries really, really fast. So as it dries and as the adhesive is drying itself, it can kind of seal it in while it sets. And that is how I double secure my mirrored box and it really does make it very very sturdy so as you can see I have attached another mirror on the side I'm going back in with my hot glue and I'm just going to kind of seal up the seams and then go on top of the gel adhesive with my hot glue some more now I'm going to do the same thing for the last mirror that I as you can see that I have to put on the side here and this is a very easy project. It can get kind of messy, but that's okay because it's definitely worth it all. If You're going to see the finished results here shortly. Now I'm just going to take some more adhesive, go down the side, and then I'm going to stand this up. Now with this, you have to be careful with this last one because uh, the, the space kind of gets a little bit tight on the inside, but you can definitely make it work. As you can see, you have to kind of turn it at, at an angle so that the glue gun can fit down in there, but it will work. Now, as far as the side seams there, sometimes you can see a little space in there, but wherever you see a space, just get in that space with your hot glue gun, and that actually seals it up to where you cannot see any holes going through uh, the seams of the mirrored box itself. So now you can see it's finished. A little bit messy on the inside, but that's okay because no one's going to see it. I'm just going to scrape the residue off of the bottom with my straight edge razor. And then I'm going to take my foam planters that I also got from the Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack, but for this project, all I need is one. And I am actually going to hot glue it down off into my mirrored box. And let me tell you, it fits perfectly down off in there and this is what's going to secure my flowers so I am hot gluing this down here because the flowers that I put in here is going to be kind of a permanent piece but it, even if I wanted to change the flowers out I kind of need that little uh, planter foam down in there now these flowers I did pick up at Hobby Lobby they were having their 50% off sale these were $3.99 each so I got them at 50% off now I'm just taking the flower and measuring it to the side of the mirrored box and then I'm just going to simply take my scissors and I'm just going to cut it now if you have wire cutters that will work a, a lot easier I did not have any wire cutters with me so I'm just taking the scissors that I have and I'm just cutting it down to size and then I'm going to take and I'm going to cut off some of the leaves that's on the flower stem because I'm going to use some of these leaves as a filler if needed. So uh, these also have some little small flowers on the stem and I'm also going to use those as you will see shortly. And I'm going to take another flower and I'm just going to measure it to the one that I've already cut so we don't have to measure it up against the box again. And we're just going to cut as many as we need. With this I only needed 
three of the um, of the flowers that I had now you can choose any flower of your choice I love the way these look um, I like the fullness of them and like I said you can choose what you want if you if you're choosing something like tulips or something like that a, a flower that's not very big you will need a lot more if you want to fill the space of your mirrored box so I'm just going to finish cutting off the flowers here and then we're going to go ahead and put them into our box. Now one at a time I'm just going to kind of position it where I want it before I push it down into the uh, the foam that's going to hold it in place. Now I like to put the foam down there this way my flowers don't slide around to the side or anything like that and I'm just simply putting Put just just basically filling in the space so you can fill yours in however you want to I just like to fill it all in to where there is no spaces that where you can see down into the box and I you just keep moving it around and moving it around until you get the look that you want Now, as you can see, when you're done, you have a beautiful floral box. You can use this in your bedroom on the dresser like I did here, or you can even use this on your dining room table or a coffee table, however you want to. This will go in any room of the house. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I do hope that you tried this, this project and definitely double seal your mirrored boxes so that they are very sturdy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now.